Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Gonna do a quick video today. I wanna show you how to use the Kindle Voyage. And specifically, I wanna show you how to use two things, the, the, the two big features that were added to this Kindle, which is the, the touch feature, the haptic touch. So on the left and right, there are these touch sensors. And then there's also an adaptive backlight uh, where you can set it so that it will adjust the brightness of the screen based upon the environment that you're in. So if it's well lit, it will dim. And if it's um, dark, then the screen will brighten up a bit so that you can see everything. So first of all, with the touch buttons, it's really simple. Um, you can put your finger over the sensor. So first, let me give the background explanation. So the top sensor, so there's a circle here and a circle here. These will take you back a page and the bottom sensors take you forward. So I'm just going to open the Kindle Voyage. Never mind, let's open a book that we already have downloaded. Okay, so this book right here, just to show you an example, I'm on page 96. I have my finger on the sensor, but the, the, the great thing is you can have your finger on it, but when you're ready to turn, you're just gonna sort of pinch the side. So I'm just gonna give it a little pinch, a little pressure, and that will advance the page. So when you're ready to turn, just sort of squeeze and it automatically advances. And oh, darn, I didn't mean to go that far. You can slide your finger up and then press and that will take you back. So the cool thing is you can rest your finger over the sensor. It only activates when you press it down. So it's also cool, it does work the same. So if you're left-handed, right-handed, I can be on this side when I'm ready to turn. Again, it will advance forward. Oh, darn, I didn't mean to go that far. I just move up a little bit here and press and now I'm gonna go backwards. So that's really how you do it. Just put your finger over the sensor and squeeze. Just remember that the top sensors go back a page and the bottom sensors will take you forward a page. So that's the main thing you have to remember. The next thing is the backlight or just again for a refresher in case you guys have never used a Kindle or it's been a while. When we touch to the left of the screen, it does take you back. When you touch on the right, it does take you forward. And at the top, right up here, if we tap, it does bring up the menu. And if we want to go back to our home screen, we can just come up to the home button right here and just tap there. And now we're back on our home screen. So really easy. Now, if you want to uh, adjust the lighting, you would tap on the little sun right here. And so you have an option to turn on the auto brightness. So when this is checked, the screen will automatically adjust based on the lighting. So there's lighting sensors. If I cover that sensor up, the screen should brighten up. Actually, I haven't, oh yeah, so it actually moved down. Um, you can actually see the numbers as they're moving, but basically it's using the sensors to um, sort of adjust the lighting. So, um, if it's brighter, it will turn down. You see right now it's actually moving down, but if I cover up these sensors and I cover them up for a few seconds here, you'll see it, the lighting is gonna turn up. Okay, it's kind of tripping on me here. Well, either way, um, when this box is checked, that's when the screen will auto adjust for you. And maybe you say, oh, I don't like how it auto adjusts. It doesn't really fit how I use my Kindle. Just uncheck it and then you can adjust the lighting yourself. So, hey, I wanna turn it up full brightness or you know what? I wanna use the auto brightness. I'm gonna check that box and now watch it's gonna dim it down for you and see it dimmed it down to eight. So it's just a matter of checking this box and guess what? Even if the auto brightness is on, you can still adjust it. Now it will adjust back because it's on auto. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to permanently set it to something different, just make sure you uncheck the box first. And that's really the main thing that you've got to know in terms of using the new um, adaptive light sensor and also using the uh, touch sensors on the side for the page press. So. 
Hope you guys did find this helpful. Again, I just wanted to keep it really simple. I'm, I'm sort of making an assumption that if you've bought the Kindle Voyage, you probably have had one of the previous models of the Kindle. And so you're probably already familiar with how the system works, but obviously the newer features are what you would need to know how to use. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.